Previously on Brotherhood Diaries. Rome is three times the size of Florence, so it made sense for us to introduce the horse in the city. As a player, you totally get to customize your own assassin. With this, the player will have some pretty kick-ass allies to help him fight the Borgia. The papal troops march across the countryside, conquering the cities of Italia one by one. Only Ezio Auditori de Firenze stands between the Templars and his brilliant, ruthless general, Cesare, and his ambition. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Diaries. Assassino. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Ezio is facing his toughest foe ever. Cesare Borgia is the perfect nemesis. And basically, he can do whatever he pleases. He's got unlimited resources, being the general of the papal armies. He's really, really ruthless, and uh, truly Ezio's uh, biggest challenge to date. To unite Italia, I must have every institution under my control. He's trying to take over the whole country and unite it under the Templars. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, there's Cesare, who's your main target, but he's helped by three generals. The Duke de Valois, he has a huge army which helps Cesare uh, make his law in Rome. Juan Borgia, who is in charge of the money, so Cesare uses this money to, to wage his wars. And Micheletto, who is Cesare's personal assassin. So we dedicated one full sequence of gameplay to learn a little bit about their backstory, how their influence is corrupting Rome and everything. So you'll get to experience the constant buildup where in the final showdown, you get to track down your final prey and kill him. Well, it's a well-known fact that Leonardo da Vinci ends up working for Rodrigo Borgia. And one of the things that Rodrigo wants to do by taking over the world is build these fabulous war machines. And we created whole missions around them where you have to go find the plans, destroy them, get the machine. You actually get to use it and then destroy it so that the Borgias can't use these war machines in their fight. In AC2, we had uh, what we call the secret locations. People really loved that, so we decided to bring them back in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood with a twist, of course. And once you find them, something interesting is going to happen. And then there's gadgets uh, like uh, crossbow, that I've wanted to use since AC1. Now we have it in the game with upgrades on it. There's also the parachute, which is based off one of Leo's drawing that, that will permit you to glide if you jump from high enough buildings. Our new strategy for combat in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is to strike first and strike fast. We wanted to uh, reward those that uh, really had a more aggressive approach to it. We wanted the player to feel badass when he was uh, performing these counter kills. So that became sort of the trademark of what the combat system is. You may have noticed there are now enemies with guns. If you know a bit of the history of Rome and of Leonardo, those assets end up in the hands of the Borgia. So what you have is now we have enemies that are a lot more aggressive, but at the same time, Ezio is a lot faster of a fighter. The Papal Guards are basically the ultimate elite guards that we're going to have in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Their sole purpose is to kill Ezio. They're super brutes, they're super agile. They'll sucker punch you all the time. They'll have two people hit you at the one time. So they have the best of all the other archetypes. So it's all about mastering not only the combo system, but also mastering your defensive strategy and your offensive strategy as well. The coolest move I've seen is this uh, extremely violent move with uh, both the sword and the gun. Once you have it in your hands, it's, it's something unbelievable. It's really uh, fast-paced, it's really visceral. Basically, you get to kill somebody with a sword and then you get to shoot his head with a gun. That's pretty violent. Next on the Brotherhood Diaries. You're gonna go to a harbor in Naples. You're going to experience an entire other country. You're gonna get to go to Spain. Another really cool aspect of the multiplayer of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is the fact that now that it's person that you're chasing, it's a lot more unpredictable, and they're a lot smarter than any AI that you can ever make. 